Hi, welcome to my channel and I am Shubha. I am currently 38 weeks pregnant and during 26th week of my pregnancy, I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes. I know how difficult it is to deal with gestational diabetes, especially, you know, we, we feel like eating so many different food during this time. We have some craving which we have to control. I have gone through all these things. But however, I have been able to control my gestational diabetes just with the help of proper diet. I will also share all my personal experience and my tricks that I use to keep my uh, fasting blood sugar level within 95. If you are interested to see more videos on gestational diabetes, I have a whole playlist for that which I will link on the screen somewhere. I'll also put it in the description box so that you can watch that out later. And if you have any question or suggestion after watching this video, let me know in the comments below. I'll be really happy to connect with you. So let's quickly know that what should be the fasting blood sugar level during gestational diabetes. So the fasting blood sugar reading should be within 95 mg per dl. It should be within a certain range which does not fluctuate a lot. Now here are some factors which I have found out to play an important role in increasing the fasting blood sugar level during my pregnancy. Number one being inappropriate dinner. Number two being dinner timing. The third is not having bedtime snacks and the fourth and the last one is not having proper sleep at night. Now let's take each point one by one and see what did and didn't work for me. So for all these weeks after I have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes, I do not eat any kind of carbohydrate rich food at night. What I have noticed that even if I take a very small amount of carbohydrate uh, in my dinner, I will have a spike at my nighttime reading that is post dinner and also uh, in my fasting reading the next morning. So in my experience, avoiding carbohydrate completely during the dinner is a good thing that you can practice. Uh, also make sure that whatever the amount of uh, carbohydrate your dietitian has suggested, you are properly distributing it throughout the day, throughout the meals that you are taking during the daytime, but avoiding it at night. So at night, what I mostly end up eating is chicken. It could be in form of salad, chicken salad or chicken soup or some vegetable soup. Uh, or kebabs like chicken kebabs these are really tasty things that you can have at night which are very very rich in protein actually chicken has been my staple during all these weeks and it keeps my blood sugar level under check I have also noticed that uh, you know the timing of the dinner makes a lot of difference in the fasting blood sugar level because if you eat at a variety of time each night then uh, it is very difficult to monitor and the other steps that follows after the dinner those changes and that makes a lot of difference so what i prefer to do is i eat my dinner between 8 to 8 30 pm now most of us especially indians don't have the habit of having early dinners but during this time you just cannot help it out but i know i regularly feel hungry at night and that might be the case with you it's okay if you don't eat anything for a very long period of time at night then also your fasting blood sugar will increase so as the recommendation for blood sugar testing for fasting is that you have to fast for 8 to 10 hours for that and if you are eating your dinner at 8 or 8.30 or even earlier than that, then you have a long window. So if I have to maintain a 8 hours of window in between, I still have that time to have a bedtime snack. So for example, if I'm going to bed at 11, which I mostly do every day. So before going to bed, I really feel like eating something. I get hungry again because not only having chicken helps, but also you have to portion control your food. That is also very important. So I cannot eat a lot of food at one time. So what I do is at around 1045, I will have something like maybe some leftover soup or a bite of chicken or maybe most of the days I have milk, a cup of milk. Okay, so these are the kind of uh, food that helps me to control my fasting blood sugar level if I am having it near to my bedtime. 
another thing which largely affects my morning fasting blood sugar level is my sleep if i'm unable to have a proper sleep at night it affects the blood sugar level a lot no matter how much i maintain things at night but if i don't sleep properly if i don't get proper sleep at night it changes the whole game for me so i am confident that if i don't sleep properly at night my blood sugar reading in the morning will be higher than 95 that's for sure so make sure that you get proper sleep at night so lastly i have a little trick that might work with you as well that some days you tend to eat something which you like and which might rise your blood sugar level in the morning or in the uh, post dinner reading can also increase due to that so or you have you know you could not control your portion properly and you can feel that this will give a spike to your chart so walking for at least 15 to 20 minutes after your meal helps you a lot to take a control on your blood sugar level so uh, most of the days when i end up eating more at night or when i eat something which i'm craving for i just cannot stop myself i will walk for 20 minutes at least after having that meal my doctor has suggested that post every meal you walk for 30 minutes but uh, truly speaking at night it's not possible for me i don't feel like walking that much but uh, the days when i am sure that this meal will cause me you know a spike in my uh, blood sugar level chart so on those days i will definitely walk for 15 to 20 minutes and that will help to keep my blood sugar level under check So I have shared my personal experience with you regarding gestational diabetes and how I control it just with the help of diet especially how I control my fasting blood sugar level early in the morning I hope it works for you but before you do uh, something very drastic which is not suggested by your doctor please consult with your doctor because the things I have told you or which worked for me might not work for you